No way. The animation knows the position of the window. What? That's crazy. Hey everyone, so in this video, we're just gonna take a quick look at the new holiday update for the Tesla Model 3. Now in this update, it's mostly cosmetic changes, but the version number is 2020.48.26. And yes, it is the holiday update for the Model 3. Now, as you can see on the right hand side, it's mostly cosmetic. The whole car looks a bit different now. And the version notes, so speaking of changes in the UI, the release notes actually look a bit different here as well. Let's see what it looks like once it loads. All right, they finally loaded. Now, the release notes are now separated into these bullet points on the left here. So you can actually tap on each of these to get more details about you know, the new features that appeared in this update. Now, I know in the Model 3s with the pedestrian warning system, they have an additional bullet point here where you can change the sounds of the speaker on the, ex on the outside and also the sound of the horn. Now, that doesn't exist here. So my car is a 2019 model, so I don't have the pedestrian warning system. So my car is completely silent. So this means that all those sounds come from actually come from the external speaker. And even if you change the sound of the horn, it is still the speaker that is playing the sound. The horn itself remains the same you know, horn sound. So I guess the headlining feature for this update is the new visualizations on the side here. So now the car gives you a more kind of animated view of what the status of the doors are. So I just open the door and it looks like it's swung open. Now the door, if I close it, it looks like it's swung closed. So there's a nice animation of the door opening and closing. Now the door doesn't actually know how far it's open. As soon as I open it, it just looks like it's opened. Uh, if I close it a little bit, for example, it doesn't know that it's, you know, half closed or, or not. There's no position sensor in the door. And it makes sense. You kind of don't really need a position sensor for, you know, how far the door is opened. But what's more interesting is the windows in this animation. So the windows actually know the position they're in. So right now I fully lowered the window. But if I raise the window up a little bit, you see in the animation, there's a little bit of glass showing on the open door there. If I raise the window up a little bit more, you can see the glass extending out of the door a little bit more there. And then if I fully open it, it's actually fully open. So the positions actually match the physical locations of the window. So to demonstrate this a little bit better, uh, I'm gonna do the same thing on the passenger side here. So I've lowered it a little bit. And as you can see, there is kind of like a crack opening there in the window. You see that? The top part of the window there. Uh, if I lower it a bit more, you'll see that window glass lower as well. So that position of the glass actually matches the physical position of the, the window, which is really cool. That means they have some sort of position sensor in the windows. And potentially it means in the future, you could actually set a position for the window and the car knows exactly, you know, how far to lower or how, how much to close it, which is pretty cool. Not sure how useful it will be, but something that they have in there. So the sensors are in there. So it is a possibility in the future. And of course the frunk and the trunk are also animated. So if you tap open frunk, uh, it's a nice animation opening of the frunk. Now the frunk doesn't actually open. It's not power, you know, assisted frunk, uh, but you know, the animation just looks like it's open. Same for the, the trunk. My trunk is just a regular trunk. It's not power lift gate. So it doesn't actually look like that in the real world, but the animation looks pretty cool. Now, apart from adding all those cool animations to the car on the right here, they've also moved some of the status indicators to the right edge of the screen. So if I go ahead and put this in drive now, all the status indicators are on the right there, all the lights and all the warning indicators are there. Now, the seatbelt sign is on the bottom. So if I put my seatbelt on now, you can see that it goes away. Um, and if I put into drive, uh, it goes into a top-down view. Now, I'm in the garage, so I can't really move it. but you can see here, it's a little bit bigger. Everything's a bit bigger uh, and I can spin it around. And another observation I've just made is that the wheels seem to have been fixed. So in the past, if I have a 2019 uh, Model 3, Tesla Performance one, Model 3, the wheels were actually the gun metal or the black wheels, even though I had silver wheels on my car. So it looks like they've actually fixed that now, which is pretty cool. And also as I'm flinging around this, everything feels a bit smoother. I don't know if it's just a placebo or not, but yeah, everything looks nicer. So yeah, let's, take this on the road and see if there's any difference uh, in autopilot. All right, so I've got it on the road now. Uh, first up, everything looks really big. They've just made the whole panel on the right here look really big. Uh, you still see the bins, you still see the parked cars. Uh, everything looks more detailed. I don't know if it's just because it's bigger, but everything looks more detailed on the actual car. So I've also noticed that the 
you know, proximity sensors, that yellow arc there. I think it was gray before. I think it turned red if you got really close, but I don't think I've ever seen a yellow arc before, which is interesting. Uh, so far, nothing majorly different at the moment, but I think I'll try and get this uh, on some lane marked roads and see if I can turn autopilot on and see what that looks like. All right, before I take it onto some laned roads, another observation I've made is that the wheels actually spin now. So if I put this into drive and just start moving, the wheels on the car in the animation here actually spin. So before the wheels didn't spin and it looked like the car was just sliding on the road. So it looks like they've actually fixed that, which is pretty cool. Awesome. All right, so I've got a short section of lined road here. Uh, everything looks the same to me. Uh, the speedo is in the top right corner now. That's the only difference I can see. And all the autopilot icons are in the, the middle there. But other than that, yeah, autopilot looks the same. So that's about it for this video. If you don't have the pedestrian warning system, you don't get the cool sounds. But yeah, hope this was useful and thanks for watching.